guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanna start this video off tonight on thanking everybody for watching the video and leaving all the comments in there and leaving all the help and thoughts of what you guys like for guns. I really appreciate it. And I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for that. So it's cool how we're building a community and uh, you know, you could ask different questions to different people all around the world and get different answers. So I really like that though. So I got, I picked up something. I actually picked up two things. I got one coming and I went ahead and picked up the uh, SADA 5500 guys. So we got it right here. It's the 1-3 um, X5500 with the eye pattern. So I like, I was telling you guys, I like using the uh, Iwata guns because they spray a thinner, flatter coat with a wide fan. And I'm hoping that this one has that same deal but doesn't have that hole in the middle because a lot of the Iwatas if you keep the fan, the pattern all the way open, it'll have a hole in the middle of the pattern and it sprays kind of like this. And I'm hoping that this SADA has more of a consistent um, pattern throughout the whole fan. So I was told it does, so we'll find out. So I wanted to show you guys the gun. Um, so I called my local paint store and they brought it down. This one's kind of different. I was looking to get the original um, gray one but this one came and it's it is what it is it's kind of like a uh, tie-dye look so it's it's pretty cool i wasn't really looking for this one but this is what they had at the time and i'm not really worried about how it looks i'm worried about how it sprays so but this one like i say it's you can definitely when you feel a sada you can feel the weight of the gun how nice it is so Really well made as usual with the SADAs. Like I said, I've had plenty of SADAs through the years and uh, you know, great gun, well made. And I'm hoping that this one's gonna be the same way, but I really like the way they make these cups that come with it. I haven't seen these yet, but they're really cool. And they have their own system where they lock on, like kind of like a PPS, but this, actually goes right into the gun without having an adapter so i haven't sprayed with these yet and i see this is like a little uh vent that goes on the top here so new uh new way of doing it i haven't seen these before Sada so didn't have uh cups back when i was using them so pretty cool but let's see what this thing can do guys we're going to shoot a car with this one here and uh see how it works so Hope you guys liked the last video and I hope you guys are gonna like this one, but we're about to put this thing to the test, guys. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're back in the booth and I wanna show you the job that I'm gonna be clearing uh, that with that 5500 gun. I'm not gonna show you me uh, painting the base of it, but I wanna at least show you the job that it is. The three-stage Hyundai, new hood, blend the fender, and uh, part of the side. So once we get to that stage of clear, I'll start showing you guys that process. So I just wanted to show you the job that we're going to be using the new gun on, guys. So I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to spraying with this new gun and seeing how it works. So stay tuned. Let me base it out. And when I get ready for clear, you guys will be in on it. All right, guys, so here we are. We got the job all based out. I'm gonna go ahead and tack it, and then we're gonna clear it, guys. So there's the gun. Nice and new and fresh, new cup. Cup's a little different than I'm used to. I've never used one of those Sada cups, so I gotta get used to that. It seems a little weird to me at first, but let's see how it works out. Let's tack it, let's clear it, guys. This is the moment we've been waiting for. I've been waiting to try this gun out, and uh, now we'll get to see what it does, so stay tuned.
So the so the gun spraying nice. It's definitely sprays a nice big uh, fan and puts out a nice amount of material, not too much. So so far I'm really liking the way the gun sprays. And this is the 1.3 SATA 5500X um, with CC200 clear with a UH90 and a US4 reducer. So definitely spraying really nice and spraying different from the normal RPs that I'm used to. I used to use the old RPs and they put way more material out than this. So that's one coat of clear. Let's put one more on it and see what it looks like, guys. Alright guys, so the gun worked out well and uh, really well made gun, the SADA and uh, you guys seen in the video it laid out a nice coat. I went a little easy with it because it was the first time I ever sprayed that gun so I never adjusted anything, I just sprayed it wide open and that was the way that they, uh, I took it out of the box so everything was set to wide open with this and uh, I went easy because it was the first time I sprayed it, just like when you guys see me first spray with the DV-1. It takes me about a week to get used to the gun so I know what, you know, how I can really uh, apply it and put it on, so. But, beautiful gun, I'm happy I got it. And uh, I also have the, the C2 cap coming for the DV-1, so that's on, uh, I'll be getting that probably this week and uh, we'll be doing a video on that. So let's go over this gun a little bit, some of the things I like about it and uh, some of the things that I'm not too familiar with, so I'm not sure if I love them, but it's cool this thing swivels, the uh, regulator area and the fitting on the bottom swivels. It's kind of different than I'm used to, so when you're spraying, it kind of turns on you when, you're, when you move the gun, which is pretty cool. And uh, I like the way that works out, so. The only thing I didn't really care for, and it could be just that I'm not used to them with these cups here. They're kind of, they seem kind of weak. I'm used to the DeVilbus cups and the PPS. These kind of seem like they would, if you were to hit something with this, it could explode. But I could just be thinking that because I'm used to the harder, stronger cups than these, but it didn't have any problems with it. It sprayed good. And the only thing, that I had a problem with was this cap on top. So I'm not familiar, I'm not used to having a vent. So when I put the clear in this, it was fine. But when I went back to go mix more clear, I didn't realize that I had to close the vent up, guys. So that's basically user error on that. I can't be mad about it from SADA. But all in all, guys, really good gun. I really liked it and I'm happy I went with it from a lot of you guys saying that I would like the gun and I definitely did. So 
I gotta get used to it. I'm gonna start doing some more videos on it. And this is the 5500X 1.3. And I uh, hope you guys like the video, but thanks to you guys for uh, recommending this gun. It is a really good gun, guys. And I did finish spraying out the day with uh, my DV1 because I was wanting to, you know, get used to this one a little more before I start using it on a regular basis. But really good gun. And like I said, the C2 cap's coming for the DV1, guys. And uh, we'll see what that does for that gun. So thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and, and the, hit the bell, guys. So thanks again.